Hello, it's the 17th of August today uh, and we've got another glorious day. It's really quite hot actually today. They said it was supposed to get up to about 26 um, and um, it's starting to feel really quite warm now. Um, I've been down the allotment for about an hour and a half already um, and I've dug up uh, 15 more potato plants so that's the second bed cleared. I've still got some more to go um, and again they are coming up looking really really good. I'm so pleased with them loads of potatoes per plant there has not been one plant that hasn't produced a decent amount so um, King Edwards have done very well this year and so far the Sarpo mirrors I think I've got more Sarpo mirrors to dig up um, which will be up there so hopefully fingers crossed I'll get some nice large ones um, so that's two beds all sorted which is uh, lovely still more to go but what I'm gonna show you now is this bed here to the right. Um, it's a bit of a mess. I had in here uh, some radish, uh, some uh, sugar snap peas and some spring onions. Um, the radish have gone to seed uh, whilst I was away on holiday. The peas have, or the sugar snap peas have finished. Uh, I've still got a few leeks in here which will obviously stay in but what I'm going to show you are the spring onions. I have been harvesting these a few at a time uh, and they seem to be doing really quite well and they're getting quite large so let me show you how they're getting on. So do please excuse the weedy mess but you can hopefully see that there are some, uh, I've still got some spring onions in there. I have been harvesting quite a few. And as you can hopefully see, that um, they're all really good sizes. So let me show you how I harvest them. All right, so in amongst the weeds here, you can see that there are a couple growing here. I've got quite a few dotted up, but I thought I would take these two. Um, they're growing, actually this is one of the best years I've had with spring onions. Sometimes they're always a bit hit and miss. Um, but like um, a lot of vegetables that grow in a line like um, beetroot or carrots um, they need space so when you sow them don't sow them too close together um, if you're not sure whether they're ready to harvest I mean they're, they're, they're ready to harvest whatever size they are it's not like you've got to wait for them to ripen you just need to wait until they get to a, sort of the size that you want um, if you're not sure then just move the soil round and then the bulb will be exposed. As you can see, this one is a lovely large one. The one next to it is a little bit smaller. Now, if your soil is really soft, you will be able to just grab hold of the top of the onion and just pull them up. But my soil is um, a little bit um, solid, shall we say, um, because it's been very hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the trowel. So I will just place the trowel about half an inch away from the onion bulb, push it down straight and then pull it back and then your onions will be released because if your soil is too hard and you try and pull them up you're going to pull the top off. Okay so there we are and hopefully they should come out really quite well. There we are just like that. If you do break some of the roots it doesn't matter. So there's two spring onions. I'm really pleased with those. They're really good sizes. So let me harvest a few more and then when I've got all I want to take, then I will show you. Right, well, I've dug up five. Um, and as you can see, they are, um, they're really good sized ones. I'm very, very pleased with those. They're nice and long as well. Um, now I, will just trim the ends off and then I'll use the dark green and the light green and the white part as well um, because they just taste wonderful. I know some people only eat the bulb but I think that's a complete and utter waste. Uh, just peel off any um, of the sort of the papery bits from the outside uh, and these are completely unblemished. Yes, completely unblemished. Uh, they're really quite easy to grow actually. Um, you can start sowing them from depending on where you live and depending what the temperature is like from sort of the end of March and you can sow them once a month all the way through, <coughs> excuse me, all the way through until about um, end of August, beginning of September. 
um, and then you'll hopefully have a constant supply um, but yes they've done they've done very well but let me show you um, the radishes and uh, well, the, the radishes that have gone to seed um, and also the uh, sugar snap peas that have finished right well here as you can see are the radishes the radishes have gone to seed you know when your radishes are going to seed because the center of the radish of the plant will actually come up um, and then um, it, it will stand much taller than uh, the rest of the leaves uh, and then you'll start to get these flowers on and then behind the flowers then you'll get the seed pods these are the little seed pods here the long pointy things now the bees do love these flowers um, and it is a tempting to actually leave them out for the bees uh, be very careful if you do because once the pods go brown they will pop and then they will shed a load of um, radish seeds everywhere and then the following year you'll have radishes growing all over the place um, so um, maybe leave a few but um, you know put the rest of them on the compost heap um, once your radish uh, has started to go to seed you can't eat the radish below because it means that the center of the radish has then gone very woody which is then basically means it's very very hard um, the outside of the radish will still taste like a radish but the inside will be very very hard and it just won't be nice at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of these up and then I'm going to stick them on the compost heap and here are the uh, the sugar snap peas um, like with sugar snaps monge to um, and uh, normal peas when they've finished they will just go brown um, they they sort of have quite a short um, period where they produce which is why it's always good like the radishes to um, to sow these um, once a month and then you'll get just a few once a month and then you'll get like um, um, a nice supply all the way throughout the summer um, so again what I'll do with these if you do have any pods that are left I've got some here you can save those uh, dry out the peas that are inside and then you can um, plant these next year um, or otherwise just put them on the compost heap uh, so I'll get rid of all of this and I'll take the sticks down um, because I personally I think that it's just a little bit too late now for me to sow another load of peas but peas can be sown in succession so once a month from about March all the way through to sort of the beginning of September I know we've got a couple of weeks to go but um, I've got an awful lot left down here on the allotment to do um, so I just don't think I'll have the time so I'll just clear all of this um, and then all that will be left in this bed are a few leeks and a few spring onions well that bed looks uh, much better now I'm sure you'll all agree uh, the soil is actually very hard because we haven't had rain for a long time actually the soil is really quite hard so it's quite difficult to to dig um, but as you can see down here I've got uh, a little row of leeks and then behind them there's a few more spring onions um, up the end there is a is a sunflower which seems to be growing really well all the way up there um, and um, then this down here is uh, oh can't see it there it is is an um, an onion that's gone to seed um, I've actually left that there because I just wanted to do a little experiment to see and try and um, catch the seeds so um, I'll keep you updated on on how that one gets on um, so that's that bed down and just before I'm gonna go let's go and have a look at the cabbages now again in amongst all the weeds <laughs> there are um, a load of cabbages there all sorts of different varieties I've got some red ones at the end uh, and then I've got various um, white ones so um, let's harvest the first one Okay, so I'm going to harvest the second one in because it's a nice size. The one at the front closest to me is actually uh, not small enough. Uh, it, sorry, it's too small. So um, let's uh, go through the weeds. Now, your cabbages are ready whenever you want them, really, to be honest with you. Um, but 
just make sure that um, depending on some are winter ones and are okay if they're left out in the snow um, and the cold weather and others aren't so just make sure that you check the back of the packet um, and it should tell you when you um, when you need to get them up by now this if you get in the middle of your cabbage and it's really firm and then it means that it's got a nice firm heart so that one is ready to come up now hopefully I should be able to pull it straight up I might have to use both hands though hold on a minute oh if your soil is really hard then you may well have to get the big fork in there but there we go that's one okay and let me show you that a little bit closer okay so here's the cabbage in uh, just a little bit more detail you'll find that the outer leaves have most probably been nibbled don't worry about that it's always best that the outer leaves are nibbled rather than the inner leaves um, I will take these outer leaves off and I will tie them up and I will give them to the chickens and they will love me forever because they do um, just then just sort of cut the um, the center off the, the heart of the cabbage um, take maybe take a few of the outer leaves off um, and then just either uh, I tend to saute it um, with some salt and pepper and stick some chives or some parsley on over the top um, also um, when you're sautéing it do it with some um, some onions sliced onions is really nice as well um, if you've got red onions they'll go really well with it um, and then um, or you could boil it if you wanted to and then just eat it but that's one cabbage I've got plenty more if you do find that the outside of the cabbage has split some of mine have don't worry um, just chop off the the nibbled bits and then everything will be fine just make sure that you wash it thoroughly um, just in case you've got some um, some little caterpillars in there um, but uh, that's cabbage number one and I've got plenty more to go right well that's it for today um, a very good productive morning load more potatoes up cabbage spring onions and I've done some weeding as well so um, that's really good um, well I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye